Hey guys, what's up? This is Cory, and welcome back to Pokemon Emerald. So in the last episode, we caught Regirock, the first legendary Pokemon of Hoenn, and now it is time to start going after the other two. So, uh, wait, I'm already in Petalburg. Why am I thinking? I don't need to fly. So let's go on and bike over to Mr. Briny's house. And he's still, is he still going to be there, though, even though he's like on the SS title now? How is this going to work? No, he's not. Okay, well, actually, wait, what am I thinking? I don't want to do that anyways, because I need to surf, so that would have been bad if I did that. <laughs> but I can't anyways. So let's see here. You're going to put up a rappel. Oh, yeah, I still have that other PP up. I'm not really sure what I want to use that on. Um, hmm. Let's see. What moves need more PP? Um, I could do Thunderbolt, but I mean, I still have Shockwave. Um, did that on both those powerful fire moves. Uh, don't really think Aerial Ace or Fly needs it. Um, I guess I could do Leaf Blade. Although I haven't really been having a problem with running out of PP of that either. I'm just going to do it on Dragon Claw. I don't know, just because I did two on that one, I might as well in case I feel like using Thorn a lot and going for Dragon moves. In fact, I'm going to try putting him out front anyways for this battle, just for the hell of it. So, let's go down this way. And I think I'm going to need to stay like as far over to the left as I can, and then there will be a, a gap here. I think I just saw it up there, actually. Uh, let's see. Nope, that can't go through there. <laughs> I'll find it eventually, don't worry. Okay, I think I have to go across this sandy thing here. And let's see, there's a trainer up here. I don't know if I've already fought her or not. Ah, oh, dang it, I have to go through this battle. Okay, that's fine, though. Body feels lighter in the water. It's as if I've gotten slimmer. Okay, good for you. Well, this is probably going to be a really easy battle because this is a relatively early in the game place. I just never battled her before. Yeah, level 25. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, so hopefully get this out of the way pretty darn fast and continue on to the next Legendary Reggie. <laughs> legendary Golems, I think they're called. Easy one hit. I'm <laughs> twice its level, I mean, what do you expect? And a Whalmer, yeah, not worried at all. Yeah, in first gen there were the three legendary birds. In second gen, people debate between calling them the legendary dogs and the legendary beasts. I personally call them dogs just because they look like it, even though that may be wrong. And then here we have the three legendary golems. And there goes Swimmer Beverly. I'm floating. You know, the funny thing is, you would actually float better if you were fatter, because fat floats in water. So anyways, here we have the next cavern. Island Cave. So this random braille again, same thing, just totally cryptic. Apparently for this one, you have to walk a perfect lap around the perimeter of the room. I'm not sure if it matters if it's to the left or right, but the source I saw did it to the left, starting like this. So I'm going to continue counterclockwise is what I meant. And there we go, all of a sudden the door opens. <laughs> it's so weird the way they do this. Like, again, how are you supposed to know that? so cryptic. I mean, yeah, it's just, I don't, because the thing is, I don't like having to use a guide to look things up, but I had to because of this. And so here we have the next Reggie. This is Regice, or as some people say Reggie Ice, or Regis. I say Regice because there should be two eyes if it was Reggie Ice. And clear body prevents Intimidate from working, that's not a problem. So let's see, what should I start out with here? Obviously I don't want to kill it, I guess I'll just go for cut because it's my weakest move and see how much it does. Because again, I am 11 levels higher than it, so okay, that didn't do too much. I'll probably just keep using that because I don't want to take any risks. And I did arm myself with 50 Ultra Balls once again because I'd rather have too many than too few and run out of balls and be caught having to either kill this thing or just, you know not going to use my Master Ball on it, obviously, and it flinched, and that did quite a bit of damage compared to the last one. I'm not sure why. Oh, right, because Superpower lowered its defense, so I don't want to risk another because that's going to kill it. I don't really have any other choices. Um, I don't think any of these would be not very effective, so I guess I have to start throwing balls. I'd really prefer to have it in the red health, but I don't really have any choice, so I do have 50 of them, so I'm not too worried. Let's just start doing this, see if we can catch Regice. What if I got it on the first try? Okay, yeah. <laughs> One roll. I think I was actually wrong when I said that, like, the number of balls you throw at a Pokemon, like, slowly, um, like, increases its catch rate. I don't think it matters. I think it's random every time, so. Like, its catch rate won't change at all. 
no matter how many times I throw balls at it. And it does have an Ice-type move, which I probably should have predicted, and it almost kills Thorn, so I might as well switch out here. I don't know why I didn't do that right away. That was a pretty dumb move on my part, but oh well. Um, I'll go to Sushi, because Ice will be not very effective. Although Ancient Power will be super effective, but I'm not really too worried about that. Um, yeah, I know, Clear Body. Pretty cool, um... Whew, excuse me, I guess I'm a bit tired. That's a pretty cool ability. Can't get your stats lowered or raised by enemies, so that's pretty cool. Uh, I guess Swagger wouldn't work either, though. Alright, so, next Ultra Ball. <laughs> that's the one thing about Legendary Battles, is unless they're Pokémon that can um, have moves that like restore their HP, it's pretty much just once you get it down to the HP you're comfortable with, it's just spamming Ultra Balls until you eventually catch it. <laughs> I mean, there is the Master Ball, but I'm saving that for something a bit more difficult to catch. Oh no, the Pokémon broke free! A ah, big surprise. <laughs> and yeah, see, Ancient Power is super effective, but that's all it's doing, which is really surprising. I mean, yeah, it's 11 levels lower, but you'd think it would do more than, like, 10 HP or whatever that was going. And it keeps, just like Regirock, using Super Power, Ancient Power, and freaking um... Curse, yeah. Except this one has Icy Wind, which is interesting. And still only getting, like, one roll. I really don't think there's anything I could do, because, again, my weakest attacking move is Rock Smash, but that's going to be super effective, so I don't really know what to do about that. Unless it uses Curse a bunch of times, but even so, I'm not sure I'd want to risk it. So just going to keep spamming balls. And, yeah, only rolling once. I don't think it's even rolled twice yet. And Sushi's just gradually taking hits here. Gonna have to switch him out eventually. Or her, rather. Yep, still only one roll. It's being pretty consistent with that. And there it goes with another superpower. Yeah, awesome animation for that move, but not gonna do much on Sushi. <laughs> I'm just really not sure what else to talk about here, because again, it just it does get a little bit, I guess you could say on the boring side, just having to throw tons of balls at it. I'm wondering if I should risk the Rock Smash, but it keeps using Super Power, which is lowering its defense, and I would want its defense to be as high as possible if I'm going to try that. Because anything I have, let's see, I'm not sure what Ice is resistant to. It might be resistant to Grass, but both of my Grass moves are pretty powerful, so I doubt it would be able to survive. That's the problem. That's the thing is, you know, I could have done these battles before even doing the Sutopolis gym, but, um, and the, the upside to doing that would have been that I wouldn't be so overleveled, and it would have been easier to take down, you know, just chip away at its HP a little bit at a time and get it a lot lower, rather than being 10, 11 levels higher than it, and then, you know, just totally destroy it in one or two hits, and then have to leave it at yellow like this making it a lot harder to catch. But I wanted to save all the legendary battles for after the Elite Four. Just for the sake of the Let's Play, I think it makes more sense to do that. Just get them all done at once afterwards instead of, you know, like doing legendary Pokemon and then beating the game when I can just do it afterwards. I don't know. I'm not sure that made sense. I guess there's no real good reason behind it. I just felt that I'd rather... I always do that, really, in my playthroughs of Pokemon games. I save the legendaries, if possible, until after beating the champion. And this guy is taking a while. It's another cool thing about legendary Pokemon is that they don't have genders, which I think is a pretty neat thing. Because um, they're just, like, too awesome for that, I guess. I don't know. But this thing is being kind of a bitch to catch. <laughs> it's to be expected, but, you know. Man. Yeah, I keep using... I wonder what'll happen if... Oh! You know, if this takes too long, then it'll eventually run out of PP and have to use Struggle. I mean... I have a feeling some of these moves have enough PP where I'm not going to have to be worried about that, but the thing about struggle is you take recoil, so... It'd be awesome if I just got lucky and caught it right here, nope, <laughs> or almost had it. Again, I still think that should be the text that's said if it breaks out after three rolls, because I wouldn't think I almost had it if it only rolled twice, but whatever, okay, I'll switch out again, um, I guess I'll go to cat food, why not? It's intense, though. I like it. <laughs> and I have an idea... Okay, well, here's something that's interesting. A little factoid. Um, I think with almost... I know this is true with the first two generations, 
and then they didn't do it with third, which is this one, and then they might have recontinued it later, and that is that if you go to fight the Elite Four a second time after beating them the first time and beating the champion and winning the game, the second time they will have more powerful Pokemon and some of them will be uh, different, and it's like an official rematch and like they're stronger and harder to beat. But for some reason in third gen, or at least I know for sure with Emerald, that's not the case. Every time you fight the Elite Four, including the first time, they will be the exact same, which I kind of don't like. I mean, I like the idea of having that rematch, but you can't do that in Emerald. So I'm just going to do it on my own anyways. I'm going to battle them a second time on screen, but I'm going to completely overdo my team. And you'll see what that's going to look like, and I think it's a pretty cool idea. It's something I've never done before. And it's going to be a bit later, so, you know, don't get your hopes up right now. It's it's still going to be quite a while before I actually do that, because there is a lot of stuff to do post-game. But I think it'll be pretty entertaining to uh, rebattle the Elite Four. And I, th I think you can rebattle the Gym Leaders at some point. I'm not sure how that works, but I'll try to see if I'm able to do that at some point in the game. I don't think I've ever done that either. But yeah, the thing is, you know, the Elite Four kind of becomes good training. Like, if you're trying to train your Pokémon up to level 100, Really, the Elite Four is where there's the strongest Pokémon you can battle in the whole game, except for, like, the Legendaries, and of course you don't want to kill them, you want to catch them, because there's only one of each, so it wouldn't be that great for training anyways. But, I mean, you know, the Elite Four, they have Pokémon up in the 50s, and so I would just go through there and battle them, like, ten times over and just get a whole bunch of experience, and I think you get money for it every time, too, so it's really just an infinite source of good experience and money. And if you have the Amulet Coin, too, it's just awesome, unbeatable. And, you know, once your Pokémon get really high level, then it's not even a challenge to beat them, so there's that to consider as well. So, continuing to toss tons of Ultra Balls at Regice, and if I get to the point where I've thrown 30, I think that is the point where the Timer Ball's catch rate is maxed out, and it's four times the rate of a regular Pokéball, whereas Ultra Balls by themselves are, like, uh, I, th I want to say two and a half times, but that could be wrong. Pretty sure Great Balls are 1.5 times. I don't really know. Maybe it's only two, but either way, um, pretty sure four times, except for the Master Ball and like the Pal Park Balls in uh, fourth gen, um, is the only way... Wait, what was I saying? Yeah, the Timer Ball gets up to four times catch rate, and that's the highest you can get of any Pokeball. So it's pretty cool. And I'm just going to take a turn to heal up one of my other Pokémon here, because I'm starting to run low. This guy just keeps attacking me. So I'll just go for a Hyper Potion on... Who do I want to bring back in? I guess Sushi. Why not? So we'll do that, and... Goes for another Icy Wind. Yeah, yeah. Same old story. <laughs> oh, wow. That actually killed Bird Bro. Okay, well, I wasn't expecting that, but that's not really much of a problem. Um, I guess I might as well bring Deku out. He might be able to take a couple hits of Icy Wind, given the, given the level distance. The given the level difference. <laughs> I wish I had been keeping track of its attacks, or its defense stat, though. Because if it's used Curse more times than it's used Superpower, he might be able to take a Brick Bait. Oh my gosh, he might be able to take a Rock Smash if I could actually talk straight. <laughs> not only did I not, like... The words didn't come out of my mouth right, but I said Brick Break when I meant Rock Smash, so that was just a fail all around. But again, there's the fact that, yeah, it's only 20 power, but it would be super effective, and I'm not sure I want to risk it, so I'm just going to keep throwing the balls. Almost used half of them already, so it's pretty insane. <laughs> I think that um, Grodon, Rayquaza, and Kyogre have the lowest catch rates of any Pokémon in this generation, though. I think the, <clears throat> the three Regis are slightly higher but it's still pretty darn low. In case you don't know how that works, the catch rate is from, I guess, either zero. Wait, come on! Yes, I got it! Awesome! Regirice was, Reg <laughs> Reg Ice was caught. I was not expecting that to just happen out of nowhere. I was expecting to have to use the timer ball. Its entire body is made of Antarctic ice. After extensive studies, researchers believe the ice was formed during an ice age. Wow, okay. So during one of the Ice Ages, this Pokémon just formed out of ice and somehow came alive, and that's a pretty awesome story. So there, now we have two of the three Regis, and it is time to move on right away to attempt to catch the third one. So, uh, let's see. Uh, well, I can still use Fly even though it's fainted. That's pretty cool the way they did that. So I think the quickest way would be to fly to Fortree. I'm going to heal up in between, of course, and maybe buy a few more Ultra Balls really quick. 
I'll probably just go back up to 50. <laughs> I mean, really, there's no reason not to. Or maybe just, like, 30 or 40. I don't know. I think what I'll do is I'll get to the, where I have 30. So I'll just buy a few more, and then if all 30 don't catch it, then I'll go for the timer ball. It should be maxed out, and if that doesn't catch it, then I'm screwed, and I'll just have to... <laughs> repels effect wore off. And I'll be having to put another one of those up in a minute here anyways, so... Alright. I will buy Ultra Balls. Um, I still have 26, so I'll just get four. I have plenty of money to get way more than that, but I don't really feel the need to right now, so... Now, where we want to go is up here. Taka taka taka. <laughs> Going across those bridges. Okay. So, yeah, like I said, gonna put up another repel. Because I'm going to be going through some grass here, and I don't really feel like getting into wild encounters right now, frankly. <laughs> I hate this really tall grass, though. It's kind of annoying to walk through because you go so much slower. But that's okay. All right, so I'm going to get on my bike because I can now. And let's see if I can remember exactly where this thing is. <laughs> um, I think I do. I don't remember having to go down this far, though. Maybe? I don't know. Really, dude? Okay, I just have to go through the grass. I put up a rappel anyways, so it's not like I should be complaining. Alright, I might be on the right track here. Um, is it up this way, perhaps? Already? Wow, okay. Um, come on. No, you know what? I'm not going to risk it. I really don't want to. I'm just going to put another one up. That's fine. And... Yeah, here it is! Oh, there's a... There's a trainer here that I didn't battle before, just like with the last one. Okay. I guess that's just gonna be a thing now. Every time I go to fight a legendary, there's gonna be some random... His name is Chip? Okay, I'm not even gonna comment on that. There's just gonna have to be some random Pokémon trainer that I wouldn't have expected to be there that I didn't battle before. And this is just eating up time. And I'm probably gonna have to save fighting the last Reggie for the next episode, I'm so sorry to say gonna go for a crunch here because this thing's part psychic and again this guy's really low level because this is relatively early well not relatively early but well yeah I guess not early but relatively so based on where I am now I mean this is just after the sixth gym and I've already beat the champion and caught two legendaries so you know there's that to consider uh, just go for another dragon claw not another that's the first time I used that what am I talking about but yeah, I have plenty of PP on that move now, so it's pretty cool. I can just spam it. I wonder if there's a, po or a hold item that increases the power of Dragon-type moves, because if there is, I'd definitely prefer to have that instead of the uh, King's Rock. I mean, yeah, flinching is kind of useful sometimes, but I don't really care. I'd rather have something that raises Dragon-type power, but oh well. So, with that said and done, we have defeated Trip. Chip, seriously, I can't talk today. I don't know what's going on. And I guess we are going to have to save this for the next episode, because it looks like I'm out of time. So, I hope you all enjoyed. Please give the video a like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you all later. Goodbye.